Thank you. This is uh, Shakama from Blog TV. Uh, your host, Kevin Cardinale. I'm talking about the economy. This is part three. Um, one of the points that I was making, and, and and what I was trying to clarify with the people in my uh, uh, broadcast last night, was that we can't tackle just one thing. When I say uh, capitalism must be the first order of business, not socialism. Uh, everybody went crazy and they said oh well you have uh, over these overseas things and you have this not that's all capitalism no that is not capitalism capitalism says that you make a better widget than the next guy you can market it you can promote it and everybody will come to your doorstep and buy your your widget capitalism is not buying off Congress and sh shutting down people, the next guy, in underhanded deals or rewriting laws to criminalize somebody else. That is not capitalism. Adam Smith doesn't have that in his book. Go read his book, Adam Smith, Capitalism. It's, it's a great read. <laughs> Everybody should read Adam Smith. That's not in his book. That there's no there's no place for that in his book. The notion of capitalism capitalism at its core is the best system out there. That anybody, regardless of race, color, or creed, that was, that's the, the gist of it, could come up with something or do something and put effort into it, put energy into it and get rewarded for it instead of the class system that existed uh, uh, in other in other countries where regardless of how much you worked you were still a serf and you will always be a serf and you're not gonna have two pennies to your name ever in your lifetime in the capitalist nation it's supposed to be that your efforts are going to be rewarded equally regardless of who you are that's that's the way it's supposed to work. Um, I said I did not agree with the uh, shipping of jobs overseas. Uh, I, I uh, you can't see what I have under the blanket, but I'm I'm uh, 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 trying to get into the fashion industry. Uh, one of the girls on the Hills, this show called The Hills. I don't know if uh, I don't know it's on MTV or something like that, and it's a soap opera, or not really soap opera, reality TV, not really reality TV. Uh, one of the stars of that show started a uh, fashion line and she said I am going to have all of my dresses all made here in the United States and one of her fashion advisors or managers what have you laughed at her and said no that's not gonna be possible you're gonna have to ship it overseas and get it done overseas and then have it done overseas it is l much lower quality. No question asked. Shipping it overseas, it's much lower quality. You're going to get a much lower quality product. R regardless of what it is, you're going to get a much lower quality product. We have legislation in place to make it cheaper for somebody to take the same raw materials, ship it overseas, have it labored overseas, and ship it back. And we're talking about this. This item is trading ten hands. Uh, from the warehouse of the actual, like, the, for instance, some fashion. So it goes goes to the cloth bot, the other stuff bot. Uh, it goes through customs. It gets shipped out. It goes through customs in the other place. Goes to the goes to the factory. Uh, gets processed. And that process is actually another four people having their hands in the in the pie there too. Uh, going back to customs, getting shipped back over here, going through customs, getting shipped to a warehouse here, getting it distributed to a a, a middleman who then distributes it to all the stores, and that's cheaper than having somebody next door put it together and distribute it to the store. That's from that's from legislation 
underhanded legislation. And uh, we have stuff called like China is, is favored nation, where they are actually nearly being paid to do this instead of them having to pay to ship the goods to us or being taxed by us to ship goods into our ports. That's a travesty. If somebody wants to ship something into our ports, we should be taxing them. The government needs to get a hand in that. Instead of uh, taxing us to death, instead of uh, having all of these stupid social uh, programs that the only 10% uh, of the population even uh, takes care of uh, in, anyway, uh, and, uh, and, and a lot of the social programs for the elderly don't even fund what they're supposed to be funding, uh, i.e., the medicine for these elderly people. They didn't have to go get supplemental insurance to help pay for supposedly the social program that was put in place to uh, assist them with their medication. Yeah. Um, we, the, the government, as I said before, the government is supposed to be put into place to look out for the American worker and the public. That's what the government is for. Not for big business. Nobody speaks out because, like I said, they're downtrodden. They're afraid of speaking out. They're afraid of saying, hey, this system is wrong. We don't need more taxation. We don't need more social programs. We need less social programs. Get more people back into the system where they're making money, paying taxes, where they haven't in a whole generation, or two generations, or three generations, or have illegal immigrants who don't pay taxes at all come over and get into social programs for free that they never paid a, a tax dollar into. Uh, I will continue on part four. I'm running out of time here. Thank you.